On days like this, you need a story of hope, like this one. One that has the potential to save lives. One that can give hope to people battling terminal illness, blood disorders. One that can help address the global shortage of something as basic as blood. For the first time, lab-grown blood has been given to people. First things first, what exactly is lab-grown blood? It is blood manufactured from an adult stem cell. The stem cell is taken from donor blood and then placed in a nutrient solution for up to 21 days. The cells then multiply. They develop into more mature cells. This is an expensive process and it is time consuming. Now, lab grown blood has been transfused into two people. How much? Just about a spoonful. The idea is to see how this blood, the lab grown blood, performs inside the body. It is part of a clinical trial, the world's first such clinical trial, in fact. It is happening in the United Kingdom. Experts there have found no side effect so far. So in the coming days, 10 more volunteers will be given this blood. Why is this news? More importantly, why is this a story of hope? You see, blood is basic. But blood is not readily available all the time. Also, there is blood inequity. The World Health Organization says that 118.5 million blood donations are collected globally. 40% of these are collected in high-income countries, which is home to just 16% of the population. So what happens to the rest? What happens to those in need of blood in low-income countries? Well, even in countries that are better off, like India, you may not find blood at blood banks during an emergency. Estimates say that India needs 15 million units of blood each year. But how much blood does India manage to collect through donations? Just 11 million. There's a clear deficit. According to one report, some 12,000 people died in India each day due to the non-availability of quality blood. Lab-grown blood can solve that problem. It can also come to the aid of those who have rare blood types. Have you heard of the Bombay blood group? Only one in four million people, one in four million people globally have this blood type. It's called the Bombay blood group because the blood type was first discovered in Mumbai back in 19, 1952 and back then the city was called Bombay. This blood type is genetically passed on. Let me tell you why it's rare. In India, there are only 350 donors for this blood group. And people who have the Bombay blood group can't be transfused with any other blood type. So when there is an emergency, often the Bombay blood is flown from one city to another. It's a crisis. But is this sustainable? The UK, for example, has just three units of this Bombay blood. It's a cause of concern. Lab-grown blood can be of help here too. It can also help those who need regular transfusions, you know, those who have blood disorders. I'm talking about people with sickle cell disease or thalassemia. In fact, experts hope that lab-grown blood will be more potent than normal blood. What does that mean? It means that a normal red blood cell lasts for about 120 days. After that, it needs to be replaced. So when a healthy adult is donating blood, his or her blood is a mix of old red blood cells and new ones. Now that won't be the case with lab-grown blood since it will be freshly made. And experts hope that it will last longer. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.